They said if I came here, that you would have a room. Have you a room? You have a room. You have a room, but you don't know if you like me. Mm, understandable. I'm not local and the accent's odd. Perhaps I am dirty, from the road. I will pay you in advance. Or rather, as I have no money yet, I will give you... the tool bag, as a pledge. They say they pay on Fridays. What do you say? I am a foreigner, but though I am in many ways unlike you, in others, I am identical. So we might progress from there. I don't know what your silence means. I have come across many silent people, but in the end, they spoke. Perhaps that is how it will be with you. I am a skilled man and eat a light breakfast. Also, I sleep soundly and bring no friends back to my lodgings. I am not solitary, but neither I am convivial. What do you say? <clears throat> I won't plead for a room. I would rather lie in a ditch than plead. I am proud, which is perhaps my single fault. All right, I haven't satisfied you. Now I remember! You are deaf and dumb. They told me at the castle. She lets rooms, but she is deaf and dumb. Da. Now I have made this boss feel foolish. <laughs> I am the torturer from Poland and I've been offered the post at the castle. The new lord said there could be no more torture. It was against his conscience and dismissed the old one, who, like me, set off across the country in search of a new post. But, after six months, the necessity for torture made itself apparent, as it always does. And execution, also, could not be done without for long. So, it was my luck when I knocked at the gate, when the vacancy existed, and the need was obvious to all. I have references from previous employers, all of whom were sorry to see me go. But I am a wanderer. I love to travel and I know my trade is never low for long. <laughs> now, shall I go up, you unpleasant hag? I detest the sight of you and one interview in a day is quite enough. Your eye is fixed on mine like a crow on dying vermin. And I know your rooms all stink. <laughs> <laughs>